Hey everyone, this is your daily dose of medicine. In this episode, we are going to talk about achondroplasia. Let's start the definition. First of all, it is short-limbed dwarfism. And it is an autosomal dominant disorder associated with short stature. And achondroplasia, the problem is not forming cartilage but in converting it to the bone. And this process called ossification, the average height for adult male with achondroplasia is 131 centimeter, and the average height for adult females is 124 centimeters. In achondroplasia, the cause is FGFR3 gene mutation. And this FGFR3 gene is works by converting cartilage to bone. And 80 to 99 percent of people have this symptoms in achondroplasia, moving of the legs, and torical lumbar kyphosis. And kyphosis is an exaggerated forward funding of the back. And 30 to 79% of people have these symptoms. Abnormality of the shape of the mid face, introverted nares, and brachydactyly. And you can see abnormal faces, introverted nares, and brachydactyly, which means short fingers. And results in abnormal cartilage giving rise to short limbs, also known as rhizomelia, with shortened fingers, brachydactyly, and large head with frontal bossing, you can see from Peter Dinklage, and mid-face hypoplasia with a flattened nasal bridge is also common. And also we can see trident hands, and lumbar lordosis. Lordosis is the inward curve to the lumbar spine. Health problems commonly associated with this condition are interruption of breathing, also known as apnea, obesity, and recurrent ear infections, buildup of fluid in the brain, which is also known as hydrocephalus. Prognosis is actually good, except in cases of spinal compression at the neck. For treatments, we cannot change this condition, but different kinds of treatment can be done to help relieve problems caused by the condition. And treatment may include medication with growth hormone and surgery aimed to correct the spine or bone problems as well as to reduce the pressure inside the brain in cases of hydrocephaly. And American Academy of Pediatrics Committee on Genetics have some recommendations for management of the children with achondroplasia and those recommendations are monitoring height, weight and head circumference using growth curves, sand rise for achondroplasia and measures to avoid obesity starting in early childhood, careful neurologic examination with referral to a pediatric neurologist as necessary and also Obtaining history for possible sleep apnea with sleep studies as necessary. Evaluation for low thoracic or high lumbar gibbous if truncal weakness is present. And referral to a pediatric orthopedist if bowing of the legs interferes with walking. And management of frequent middle ear infections. Pitch evaluation by age two years those are the recommendations and that is the end of the video it comes to liking commenting and sharing with your friends thanks for watching